blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And Lord, I pray they be your words, not my words. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I want to tell you about, the, about a dream that I, uh, that I had, and what I saw, it was uncomprehendable. I saw a rain, but not a rain of water, but it was a rain of fire falling down, covering everything. I saw fire consume everything. I saw everything burn up. I saw trees, crops, grass, houses, apartments, businesses, shops, stores, manufacturing plants all engulfed in a fiery rain from the sky. I saw people and animals burn. Nothing was spared. Everything burned. I saw God's full wrath and fury upon the earth and upon the people. And the earth burned with fervent heat. The heat of Sodom and Gomorrah with brimstone, it burned. I saw brick, stone, even steel turn to a molten liquid and then burn. Just like the Bible says, with fervent heat, the element, elements will melt. Second Peter 3 and 12. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The people who study <clears throat> modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah say that it was destroyed with the force of 76 Hiroshima-style nuclear bombs. And that was just one small corner of the desert. But now we are talking about the whole earth. And yes, I know 100-pound hailstones mixed with fire is coming. But this, this was much, much worse. The whole earth was being destroyed with fire. God does not lie. God only tells you the truth. And he warns what is to come before it comes. As it is written, it will be done. Storm clouds are now gathering. What are, what are you going to do? Now, if you are safe in the arms of Jesus, you will have no fear. You will not see this day. But if you are not, you should be very afraid. Because it is coming, and you can see it on the nightly news. Now, even top bankers from major banks, economists, industrialists, big investors, top government, government officials, and many insiders, they all know what's coming. Every day you get a warning from someone, somewhere, of what is coming, but the people, they fail to listen. Remember that slogan, Build Back Better? Before you rebuild, you must first destroy the old system. And that is exactly what they are doing. They are intentionally destroying the economy, our way of life, to bring in the new system. A system where they control everything. Consider all the bank closings with much more to come. Then you have the CBDC, the Central Bank Digital Currency. Once that comes about, it will be game over for America. As then someone else controls all your money and controls everything you buy, they can stop you from buying what you want. They can put money into your account to reward you, or they can take money out of your account for taxes, for fines, as a punishment. They also can close your account and take all your money, leaving you penniless, unable to eat, live, buy gas, pay bills, as then it will all be gone. When the economy collapses, no one gets paid anything, and people, they will hit the streets rioting, then you will have agitators and terrorists who will stir up matters even more, with much killing, burning, looting, rape, murder, all of America turns out to riot and protest, demanding their money, but there is no money. And the people will riot even more. Martial law will be declared, but most do not pay it any attention and riot anyway. 
they will feel that the military will not shoot Americans, American civilians, so more rioting, looting, bombings, burnings, America goes mad. Then the United Nations is invited in originally to keep the peace and enforce martial law. But they will take over everything. They will take over the military, the police, the court system, everything. But because of an uh, all-out civil war, the UN will invite other countries in like Russia, China, Cuba, Iran, Iraq, Venezuela, basically the countries that hate America. And nuclear weapons will be used on all those cities that refuse to comply with UN dictates. There will be much blood in the streets. The UN takes over all military and all military assets, including the nuclear stockpile. One day America will fall in one hour. As it is written, it will be done. Somewhere in the mix of all this, America will experience major earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, major storms, hurricanes, tornadoes on an unprecedented scale. And also the heat will be unbearable. No electricity and so no air conditioning. Record setting heat every day for months at a stretch and not even a, a fan to blow hot air on you. God's wrath is poured out full strength upon America, Babylon. America will fall and not rise again. After all these things, after the reign of the Antichrist comes to an end, then the reign of fire comes to destroy the whole earth and everything and everyone on it. But God will provide a new heaven and a new earth for his faithful. Are you one of God's faithful? Are you safe and secure in the arms of Jesus? If not, let me invite you to come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Humble yourself, repent of all your sins, forgive your enemies and pray. Say the words, do not just think them. Acknowledge the fact that you are a sinner in need of a Savior. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Put your faith and trust in Jesus. Pray the blood of Jesus covers you and washes away all your sins washes you clean and washes you white as snow. Pray that Jesus enter your heart and gives you a new heart and be, and be with you and lead you and guide you and protect you every day that you have left on this earth. If the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this ministry, God's ministry, all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit. And the Bible ministry is now in full swing, full swing and we are mailing out Bibles and books all over. Our mission is this, before the King James Version Bible, the Word of God is banned and made illegal. We want to get as many copies of the King James Bibles into as, as many ha people's hands as possible. We have people all over America who are placing King James Version Bibles and books in waiting rooms of hospitals and doctor's offices, basically everywhere. Now, if you'd like to join us in this work, please email me at the above uh, email address and I will send you Bibles and books you can place in local waiting rooms near you. The days are getting darker and we must let our light shine all the brighter. We are getting so close to the rapture now and now what we do and what we say is so critically important. God bless you and God keep you and yours in his loving arms just like he held me. Now we love you and we pray for you and yours. Every one of you have been a gift from God an absolute gift to, from God to us in this ministry. The only way to survive what is to come is to not be here, as in, as in being raptured, with much love and more grace from above. Amen. Our time is so short. Our time is so, so short. Now it's just vitally, critically important that you spend your last days working for the Lord, working for the Lord, doing a work for the Lord, no matter what it is doing the work for the Lord. So we will work. We will work for the Lord. Right up until that last great trumpet blast calling us home. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Even though, even though I'm an old disabled veteran, and I just, I just, I thank you, Lord, for, for giving me a work to do, for giving me dreams and visions and giving me a work to do in these last days. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. And I want to remind everybody that we have King James Version Bibles on DVD, 
So if you want one, just, just all you have to do is ask. Our time is so short. Our time is so short. Now it's time. It's time to pray without ceasing. Repent of sins. Say the blessing over your meals. Fast. Be in sackcloth. And pray. Pray without ceasing because our our time is is almost up. Our time is almost up. So now. Now it's it's more important than ever to do a work for the Lord. God bless you and God keep you each and every one. This is our prayer and we love you all so very much. Amen.